Okay, so this may be weird, but I feel like my hair talks to me. I don't know how to explain it. I can just tell when my hair is going through something. I can just know when my hair needs something and when it doesn't need something. You can watch YouTube videos and learn about new ways to take care of your hair. But ultimately, you know your hair more than anyone else. So listen to what your hair tells you. So your hair is connected to your scalp and nobody can tell you what your hair needs more than you. It's your hair. So you know what's up. So follow me on uh, a different kind of wash thing. I'm excited. <laughs> it's been one month since my last wash day. So I know that it's time for another wash day. And I really don't feel like washing my hair. And it's not like I'm a lazy natural. I'm one of those naturals that I can do extra when it comes to my hair just because I like my hair and I enjoy experimenting and touching my hair. And I just know that my hair doesn't really want to be washed. And I have been carrying um, this style for about two weeks and I'm really comfortable. I just still feel like this hairstyle can go another week. My ends are tucked in and safe. My edges are growing. My hair is not just really in the mood for the whole wash day thing. So I was just like, why? Why does my hair not want to be washed? And I think it's not that my hair doesn't want to be washed, but my hair doesn't want to be shampooed. Because the thing about shampoos is that, oh, the shampoo that I use, it's uh, it contains sulfate. And I've been using it for the longest time, but I know it's time to change. I just don't have access to the change that I need. But the thing about sulfate is that it rips my hair of all its natural oils. It rips my hair of all the dead and all the product build up, but it rips my hair of all the natural oils. So I'm thinking that this wash thing, I'm going to co-wash. <laughs> There was a time in my natural hair journey where I actually co-washed my hair and my hair was really loving it because the thing about my hair is my hair likes product build up and I've said this before in another video my hair likes to be layered with products but obviously too much of every good thing is not good there was one time when I was co-washing my hair continuously like I wasn't even shampooing my hair at all and then the product build up on my hair became so thick that when I moved my hand through my hair strand like I could pack it. and I'd washed my hair <laughs> and I'm someone who uses shea butter so you imagine repeatedly using shea butter on your hair for weeks and then washing your hair with a conditioner that won't wash it off but for now I'll get to go wash my hair and we'll see how my hair does after I mean yes 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 I thought about this there's this thing that I bought and I've had it for up to a year and I've just not been using it for my hair let me get it guys this is my Guys, this is my apple cider vinegar. I, I bought this thing, I can't remember, years ago. It's even dusty. And look at how much is still in it. I know the, the thing about apple cider vinegar is it helps like with the pH of your hair, helps to close your cuticles and all of that, all of that. So I just bought it because one time everybody was talking about it and then I never used it. So we're going to use it in today's wash day, we're not shampooing today. And that's the thing about your hair, it's important that you listen to your hair. You can watch YouTube videos and learn about new ways to take care of your hair, but ultimately you know your hair more than anyone else. So listen to what your hair tells you. Sometimes your hair feels really dry. So you can tell that, okay, my hair needs something moisturizing. Sometimes you can have so much build up, you know that, oh, my hair needs proper cleaning. Or or you can just notice that, oh, my hair has so much split ends. Maybe today, just don't comb that hair. Maybe today, just leave that hair. Or sometimes your hair is dry and you know your hair needs water and oil. So your hair is dry and you know that your hair needs moisturizer and shea butter. You're the owner of your hair and your hair is connected to your scalp and nobody can tell you what your hair needs more than you. You can listen to everybody else for advice, but it's your hair. You know what's up. Okay, so I'm going to take down my hair. I think I'm going to tangle before, before I get in the shower, but while in the shower, I also am going to tangle. Like, see my hair? I don't know. <laughs> but I know that, even though I don't really, really feel like washing my hair, I know that my hair needs a wash. I know that my hair would benefit, you know, from a wash. I mean, there's people that wash their hair every week, every two weeks. I'm like, how? Oh, I can't. I can't keep up. I know my hair. I know my hair. I know that going to be the death of my hair if I think I'm washing my hair every week. No. No, 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 no. This is the conditioner I'll be using for the co-wash. This is my deep conditioner and this is my second deep conditioner. I mix the two deep conditioners together and add a bit of olive oil and black Jamaican castor oil. 
I just use the running water to detangle my hair in preparation for my co-wash. I like to pre-poo with green tea to reduce shedding. So after the tea had cooled, I just dunked it all over my hair strands. And then I went in with my conditioner. So I'm using the conditioner to get rid of the build up on my hair strands and just using the water to rinse my scalp. That's actually what I do when I co wash. So when I do this, my hair is clean and my natural hair oils are still preserved. So here I'm just going in with my deep conditioner. See the way my hair is just licking it up. <laughs> and then I use this process to, to just detangle my hair a bit. Nothing too crazy. Just getting rid of those clumps. And then massaging the deep conditioner into my hair. And then because I don't have a heating cap, this is how I create heat around my hair. I use a shower cap, my satin bonnet and my blow dryer. And then I just wait some minutes and allow that heat to be absorbed into my hair. Who else can see that pimple on my nose that looks like a piercing? I usually have to use the blow dryer twice and then I let this heat seep into my hair for about 30 minutes to an hour. And while I wait, I love to do scalp massages. It's like I'm transported to another world <laughs> when I'm done <laughs> I feel so relaxed yeah and then this is how my hair looks after letting it sit for up to an hour it's all absorbed into my hair strands after using the deep conditioner out of my hair I went in with my vinegar hairspray in the top right corner you see how I made this mix When I was done washing my hair, my hair felt really soft, shiny, bouncy. I mean, like the elasticity was on another level. I really liked how my hair felt. And I was actually concerned that, oh, my scalp was going to be clean. But my scalp was clean. My hair strands were clean. So this just goes to say that sometimes, most times, don't be afraid to switch up, you know, your regimen because of something your hair tells you or just how your hair feels like feel your hair communicate with your hair love your hair thank you guys for watching see you in my next video au revoir